Welcome back, everybody. We've got a big stretch ahead of us here. We got to sim three games. And then if we're alive, we'll play week 18. Otherwise, we're just going to get started with our offseason. So it could be an interesting episode. Could go in any number of directions. I am excited to see what's going to what's going to happen here. So we've got a game here against that man, Deshaun Watson. Big name right now. We're just going to prevent his uh, running ability here, keep him inside the well as you will, and I think we gotta go back to this throw it medium game plan approach that has really been our best bet. And uh, gotta win, gotta win this week. They are struggling, they're, what did I see, four and seven, five and eight, something like that. We've been playing better football lately. We just lost a really good game against a really good New York Jets team. Got players getting better here. Just gonna auto that group. But unfortunately, we have to sim. Could be an anticlimactic start to the episode here, but it might also indicate the start of an offseason if uh, we lose this one. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. 21 to 17. And the Cowboys did win. So. The division is looking more and more out of reach here, but definitely can still get into that wild card picture. Uh, the division is kind of turning this thing around. It was looking like a NFC least scenario, but now everyone's 500 or better. We got the Chargers this week who are really struggling this year, but they are a dangerous football team. We've won four of our last five, so we're playing much better football. Uh, Daniel Jones, good job taking care of the football. We picked off Watson a couple times. Saquon, decent game. Kadarius Tony, that has really been an impressive move by Brian Dable to put him into the slot. Nice adjustment. Uh, offense has definitely gotten better. Uh, and Kobe Dean, an interception there. Along with Aziz Ajalari. Those two seem to have big games together. The, the Georgia chemistry is real. But weekly strategy here against Herbert. You know, the team around him clearly struggling, but he's a monster, 93 overall. We are gonna force him to take the underneath stuff. Don't let him beat us over the top. And again, sticking with throw it medium here, even though Derwin might have something to say about that. Let's actually run it on these Chargers, a team that has really struggled against the run through uh, the last few years. Let's see if they've gotten any better at that. N'Kobe Dean, by the way, wins Defensive Player of the Week. a boy. I feel like he's had a pretty quiet season, but another risky simulation here. Come on, let's bury these 3-11 and Chargers at home. Oh, Herbert does us in. A little bit of a vengeance performance by him. Frustrated with his team's season, but God, he lit us up. 49 points, easily the worst performance by our defense this year. I mean, the defense this year has actually played really well. The, this Cowboys game was a rough one, the Bills game, but uh, I guess the good quarterbacks have given us some, some fits. But a six, are you kidding me? Six touchdowns for Justin Herbert. Daniel Jones tried to keep pace, but... That's not something he's comfortable doing, getting in a shootout with Justin Herbert. So just unfortunate timing. We ran into Herbert. Just lighten us up. Oh, that sucks. Seven and eight. As we look at the standings here, we, we definitely need to win this week. But is the, I mean, God, look, the NFC, it's, it's tight, man. We are not out of this thing yet, but we got to beat the Eagles. This game has major wildcard implications as they're one of those eight and seven teams. Odori Jackson, on the other hand, does take home a defensive player of the week. He's played well down the stretch. Perhaps we want to extend him, maybe think about a franchise tag as well could make sense there. I just don't know if he's someone we want to commit to long term or not. But as we look ahead to the Eagles, let's stop the run. I think we can attack these linebackers, these safeties here. Big simulation. Come on, G-Men. 
Hey, 24-21, we are alive, and this could very well be winning in against Washington. We beat them once already, right? Yes, we steamrolled them, and I will have to take a look at the standings, but I would think that we could get in at 9-7, and seven, and we did it last year. We snuck in and, and went on a run. It's a new season once we get in, so that's the hope. Pretty quiet day for the offense this time, but the defense bouncing back to that embarrassing performance against Herbert in a big way. Jermaine Johnson gets a pick. And per our rules, we get to play this full game. We did pick up an injury last week. Drew Tranquil, that's fine. We won't miss him. We got Lorenzo Carter. No offense, Drew. But I believe our game plan against Sam Howell last time was to defend the medium pass, and we also attacked them over the middle of the field. If we can get anywhere close to the performance we had the last time we played these guys, we should be able to handle it. We matched up really well the first time. But let's just look at the standings. Man, this is it's gonna be tight. We, we might even be in if we lose, I don't know. This is just crazy how many eight and eight teams there are here. But we're definitely in if we win this. We might even be the five seed. We, it looks like we will be the five seed if we win this. Depending on, I guess, the tiebreakers here. Darnay Holmes gets a boost. Don't forget about him. Man, I had six interceptions last year from the slot. It's another guy, I think, probably in our list of, of renegotiations here. Which we've kind of glossed over after we made those big re-signings. Yeah, Darnay Holmes. He didn't end up making the Pro Bowl despite the six picks. I think he would get a little more than that based on the production he had the year before, but uh, he definitely is worth paying as a, a premium slot corner for us. Only 25 years old. Uh, not a position we really want to worry about, so I'm going to pay him uh, actually probably three years here. Six mil is, is good money for a, a starting slot corner. Glad we can lock him up. But a full game of experience on the road, 281 overall teams, division rivalry, playoff implications. Gotta love it, here we go. First play of the game. Get back, Dean. Get back. Oh, my God. What a throw from Sam Howell. What a dot across field. That was impressive showing off the arm talent. Pittsburgh Steelers are 15-1 and one in this world. They are rolling. Who is their quarterback? My goodness. Oh, man. Good play by Howell to get out of that. Make a little adjustment here. Put McKinney in man coverage there. Another throwaway. Didn't want Lorenzo Carter in man coverage on a on a receiver. But we just traded off the zone man assignment there. Worked out. Worked out. Get in there, Johnson. There's the bull rush. Go, oh, God Howell. <laughs> Ooh, good cleanup work there by Ajalari. Jermaine Johnson. He did that to a right tackle, I think, against Miami and his college tape. Brings it back to the NFL a few years later here. Just buried him. Calvin Austin in there. Nowhere to go. And Daniel Jones, Mr. Average himself, takes the field. Come on, Ingram. Oh, Ingram unable to get... His feet down just feels like he can never feel comfortable along the sidelines. Oh, Jones puts it in the right area, but had the wrong address. Third and 10. He hit that one. And Austin making plays down the field. 
What a throw, what a catch. Huge conversion. Oh, Zach Charbonnet. An angry run. He wants his playoff revenge from last year. He knows if he can't make a name for himself, he's probably gone. Not exactly a fan favorite after what happened in last year's Super Bowl. Jones just throws that one into the dirt. We're going to go back to that counter run. Except let's flip this. We got numbers on the weak side. Can we flip this? No, we can't. Stuffed. That spot concept just works for Evan Ingram right there. It's the second touchdown he's had in a couple episodes here. So let's move on to defense. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? <laughs> bizarre play, bizarre result. But we are not complaining about it, that's for sure. Brings us to third down. Ajalari gets hurt. Oh, he's going to get the first down there. Darnay Holmes unable to tackle him short of the sticks. So it's going to be an increased opportunity for Quincy Roche as long as Ajalari is down. A lot of throwaways here from Howell, but good coverage by Roche to confuse Howell on that one. But Ajalari is going to come back in now. Lorenzo Carter on Curtis Samuel. This is a potential recipe for disaster. But the safety helps us out. And Jermaine Johnson gets in there again, having a day. And we're gonna we're gonna bring the heat here. Third and 17. Howell unable to complete it. So far, so good. Light box. Charbonnet in there to lead this drive off. Oh, nice play by Jamin Davis. Great blocking. Charbonnet playing mad. Four carries, 38 yards. Saquon's just getting a breather here, but with Charbonnet running like this, that's perfectly fine. Gets to the outside. Go. Hey, miss. Makes a miss. That's a huge run. Great vision to kick that thing outside. RB2 is going off. We have Washington's number so far through about five quarters of football. Good D. Bradbury. More good D. Third down coming up. Howell's going to have to make a play. We're bringing that Wink Martindale classic. Cover one. Peppers on Samuel in the slot. He's getting the crosser. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what we want. Go get him. That's good play. Good play to recognize the man coverage. Tight end beats us on the curl route. Howl. Inaccurate. Oh, N'Kobe Dean. Undersize this, he says. What a play. We're coming. Let's see if Peppers can do a better job on the tight end that shredded us last third down. He absolutely does. Howell, another throwaway. Great job, defense. Good man coverage by Jabril Peppers there. Field goal is good. And now we're taking over. Charbonnet in there again. I don't know. Is Saquon okay? No. Quadriceps sprain. Rest him up for the playoffs. Let's let Charbonnet eat. Ooh, lucky to have that dropped. Good coverage by the linebacker. I'm actually going to keep him in the block this time.
Nowhere to go. Daniel Jones trying to create, but the speed off the edge too much from Washington, so we're going to have to punt one. We got the wind. Darnay Holmes flying down the field. Oh, he whiffed. He whiffed bad. But our defense in control so far. Great play. Jermaine Johnson. Have a day. Oh, man. Sam Howell might have been able to run for 70-yard touchdown there. He throws it away instead. And Wink's going to keep bringing the heat as long as Sam Howell shows that he can't beat it. Oh, God. Oh, God. McKinney whiffs on the press coverage. And that's the second time that Ortiz has annihilated us on third down. Basically their entire offense right now. Do a better job to take him away. First down. Oh, Jabril Peppers having a day out here. What a hit. Woo. Love that. Got him that time. James Bradbury from the corner in that old Patrick Graham 3-3-5 defense here where a lot of these guys are more comfortable. Really good red zone defense. Be patient. Be patient. Go, go, go. Oh, man. What a play by Howell. We got to close down. Can't sleep on his speed, man. Great play. And a big answer for Washington. Good play by Sweat off the edge. One of the best run defending edge players in the league. Ingram sitting down, but Jamin Davis brings him down. Gets us to third and two. We're going to go play action. We got a sail route from Evan Ingram here. That deep corner. Oh, Galladay has a chance. Oh, Jamie uh, Landon Collins showing some decent recovery speed. Galladay's got to come down with that thing. He had him. All right, defense, step it up. Bradbury making some good plays in the run here. Good job. That's Kramer. Potential starting safety next year. Oh, no. This Ortiz, I mean, we, we got to know better than to put an edge one-on-one -on -one with him. We really need to be conscious of where he is because he is shredding us. That's got to be over 100 yards for him 20 minutes into the game. Got Kramer on him here. Jabril. So third and six. We're going to disguise the coverage a little bit here out of our 3-3-5 odd defense. Ah! Sam Howell finds the hole in his own. It's a good looking drive. Come on, D. Let's, let's hold on to this lead. Getting closer to the two minute warning now. Ron! Good job, Dexter Lawrence stuffing it up the middle. Oh, Mario Edwards, he's been a quiet, very quiet starter for us. That was a big play. We're gonna drop into cover two. 
Protect the sticks, everybody. Pick it off. Oh, Kramer on that one. Unable to secure the catch, but does get a pass breakup. We hold them to a field goal. They make it. And we got a two-minute warning. Tempted to throw to Evan Ingram there, but after what happened with the Bryce Hall interception, Daniel Jones a little bit more cautious throwing, throwing over the heads of those safeties and slot corners, or just outside corners in general. Two-minute warning. Calvin Austin on the outside. Good job. Calvin Austin might be 5'7", but he does have a perimeter skill set from college where he played. Evan Ingram. Oh, no! Evan Ingram fumbles in classic Evan Ingram fashion. Come on! You've got to be kidding me. A good-looking drive turns into a massive mistake. Instead of potentially scoring a touchdown before half, they get the ball in great field position. Oh, that could be a potential 14-point swing here. Ortiz again, smoking us. Got to at least hold them out of the end zone. Good job, Bradbury. Having a great game. Showing those strong, long arms to get in and break that thing up. The value of reach right there. Oh, it's a screen. Get over there, Peppers. Good tackle, McKinley. Close. We'll take it. Great coverage by Nakobe Dean on that one. Got Lorenzo Carter dropping into the mid-read. First up the middle. Great coverage. We will give them that. They're going to have to use their final timeout or burn a bunch of time here. Great, great clock awareness by EA here. Using up 20 seconds. Get him in bounds. Great job. Might just go field goal right here. They're not. Can we get a blitz here? We're gonna we're gonna risk that we can get a blitz here off the edge. Because if we can sack them. Yes! Great play call by Wink. Darnay Holmes gets the sack off the edge. And no love lost. We keep the lead. An interesting ball game so far. We get the ball to start the second half. Oh, Chase Young. Chase Young doing his thing. Just as we saw Kenny Galladay screaming open deep, Chase Young with a strip sack fumble. Great throw and catch. Kadarius Tony coming open on the slant. Good work. Play action here on first down. Just hit the hit the back. Oh, Zach Charbonnet! Have a day! With the truck stick. If Ik if Ikem can have a good lead block here, this could be dangerous. We'll take that. Another 10 yards, over 100 yards in the day for Zach Charbonnet. Getting a full start here. The full workload. Oh! That was cover two. Or at least a hard flat. Baited on the disguised coverage. Oh no. Montez Sweat can't have that, guys. That's an easy sack if he comes unblocked. He's one of the fastest edge players in the league. Let's keep, keep.
keep Charbonnet in a block here. Step up. Make a play. Oh, man. Zach Gross just doesn't have those contested catch skills, so we're going to have to go field goal here. Washington defense holds. On the money, though. We got a battle. They're trying to knock us out of the playoffs. Oh man, how what a play. Can't cover for that long. Not gonna blame Adoree Jackson for that one. Just a great play by Sam Howell. Okay, keep an eye on the tight end that's been smashing us all game. Oh no, get him. Woo. Easily Gibson's best run of the day. We had him at about 15 yards on eight carries up until that point. Good hit, Bradbury. Bradbury is playing physical today. I love it. Let's see if we can hold him to another field goal here. That'd be huge. Keep an eye on the play action coming to the back side here. Yep. Don't give it up. Don't give it up. Get back there, Peppers. Oh! Oh, no. That was the rookie Kramer giving up the catch there. Come on, D. Keep an eye out for that run. Get in there, Lorenzo. Ugh. And we're trailing. Washington's got all the momentum. We need this offense to wake up. We go stick on the right. We got a curl flat on the left. Get cover three. Just hit Charbonnet. And make a miss. Let's go. Let's go. That's a first down. Good job. Good read by DJ. Weak side zone. Aquanu climbing. Oh, another big run. With the stiff arm. Zach Charbonnet is going off. Oh, man. Keep feeding him. If this is cover two, keep an eye on Kadarius Tony here. Uh, not cover two. Oh, no. Just a stupid throw. Stupid throw all around. What was the coverage there? Just cover three. It's not going to tell us. That was just a, a panic throw under pressure, trying to squeeze it over the to that second level there. But it's the second time Jones thrown just a costly pick in that area. Not the right amount of touch. Dean whiffs. Another big run by Gibson. Defense really going to have to bunker down here. We need a play. This is... This was looking so good, but... Washington on a 20-3 to run now. Good job. Good run, defense. Come on now, guys. Fourth quarter. There we go. Jermaine Johnson wants it. He's pissed. Two and a half sacks. Keep going. Let's do it again. Howell's changing the play. Oh, he gets through. It was a screen. 
Going cover two sink. Everybody get back. Ajalari now on the side. Gets in with the swim move. Brad Berry been a good tackler all day. Misses that one, but we got cleanup work. So long field goal coming up here, and they're going to kick it, but special teams coordinator saying, look out for the fake here. They got Ortiz lined up there. Keep an eye out for him. Kick is just barely good. Bangs it through. Will Lutz wearing 21. But a chance to go take the lead. Just uh, stop turning the ball over. We're, we've been able to move it, but these two turnovers have really hurt. Man, Zach Charbonnet is running mad today. Blitz is coming. We block it up. Good throw. Galladay. Good catch. Dickinson gets hurt at center. Don't like that. Just go down. Just go down. Don't need Daniel Jones and his fumble is coming back now. I thought we had him fooled on the read option, but they closed quickly. Second and 13. That time, Daniel Jones able to throw a touch. And Evan Ingram plucks it out of the air. That was Danny Dimes right there. What a throw. See why he's throwing some of these throws into the second level. He can make some stuff like that happen. That time does not get intercepted. Just go up the middle, Zach Charbonnet. Man, he just brings a little something different that Saquon doesn't. Not that Saquon's got anything wrong with him, but... It's good to see this from our backup running back. And good vision to bounce it outside when he needs to. Have a day. Have a day. Fans are, are going to be forgiving him a little bit for kind of letting us down in the Super Bowl, but could be a big reason we're getting into the playoffs this year. Oh, no. Oh, Jermaine Johnson. Are you kidding me? A hell of a tackle. That was looking like potential breakaway run and just plucks an ankle. Gets him down. That was big. Eish. Howell's making some plays happen. Hasn't thrown a touchdown yet today. Did run for one. Clock is ticking. Bradbury again. Leonard Williams with a stuff. We're going cover one blitz. Kramer's on Ortiz. Oh, 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 oh! The quick slant. Misfires right into our guy's hands, and they're going to punt this. And trust their defense with the way Zach Charbonnet is running the football today? That is risky. They shank it a little bit. Although, yeah, not even inside the 20. That was a bad punt by Tress Way. Now they're expecting us to hand the ball off. We're going to come out and play action on first down. Really tempting to throw either of those options, but just play it safe. Take a first down. Definitely let that clock run. We got numbers. This should be a good run. We got all of our best linemen. We got our center back in there, by the way. Dickinson, he's healthy. Climb up. Let's go. Just a couple more first downs. Give us a block. Oh, 
That might have even been better, though. We have a 200-yard rushing game here today. O-line going to work today. Even the receivers are throwing some big blocks. Charbonnet, of course, with really good vision. Oh, wow. Lucky injury timeout there. That one should cost them, but I think it's only in the two-minute warning that that cost them a timeout. They're faking it. They're cheating. Huge play coming up. Honestly, I might even go for it on fourth down to seal it. We're deep in their territory. Hopefully that's unnecessary. They're giving us the A gap. Hopefully we can just punch this thing up the middle. Easy. Now they're in trouble. Gee, do you wonder who's getting the game ball for this one? I suppose the O-line's a good candidate, but Zach Charbonnet. What a story. He's had a quiet season after a demoralizing final play to end the Super Bowl last year, but he is arguably the reason we're hopefully going to finish this off and be headed to the playoffs. Now, I don't want to just rest on this here. Although they're giving us decent numbers in the box with our spread formation here. I am going to run it one more time. He's going to push forward. And I'm actually going to go for it here. No. No, we're going to kick it. Force them to go get a touchdown with a minute to go. No timeouts. Probably better than uh, them... Being able to make a couple plays and just get in a field goal range. Even if it is backing them up. Either way, I, I trust our defense. Kick is through. Exactly one minute left. With the way our, our pass rush is playing today. I like our chances. Even ate up another four seconds on the kick. So we're basically, we're going to come out and cover two man. Although in a, in a bunch formation like this, let's just go cover two sink. Oh no! The one spot that they could beat us on there. What the hell just happened? We're a mess. Edwards gets through. Sack! Howell needs to throw that ball away. Mario Edwards, who has been so quiet, just gets the final sack of the year. Final play of the year. Gets us into the playoffs. What a game. What a game. All around team performance. Game ball, of course, going to Zach Charbonnet, who will turn around and hand it right to his offensive line. Wow. What a run. We should be able to sneak in here. Barring any surprises. And we play the 8 and 9 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We get the 5 seed after all of that. And we get a break taking on a kind of measly 8-9 team in the AFC South. Ooh, that's setting up for an exciting potential um, last offline only episode. We are going to continue this series, honestly, probably until after the draft, just because with the lack of an updated roster, I really don't have a position to... Uh, I'm not in position to start a new rebuild, so we're going to keep this thing going for a while. I am going to keep it going as a Twitch stream series where I do edit it up. It's going to look very similar. There's just going to be some interaction with the live chat, which is going to be a fun way to spice up the series as well. So I'm definitely looking forward to that and especially looking forward to this playoff run. This has been a phenomenal series so far. Hope you guys are still enjoying it, and uh, we'll see you 
for this playoff run next episode. Peace out.